All right, so here we go with Uncle Herman's Hornpipe, or Herman's Hornpipe. Uh, this is a great contest fiddle tune in the key of D. All right, so here we are with Uncle Herman's Hornpipe. Uh, this is a great fiddle contest tune. Uh, it's a Texas style uh, standard, uh, not to be confused with Herman's Rag. Uh, this is also sometimes called Herman's Hornpipe, but uh, originally the tune was called Miss uh, Super Test's Victory, uh, something along those lines. It's actually a Canadian tune. It was written by or composed by John DeRocher, uh, who composed a number of great tunes. Um, so it made its way into the fiddling uh, Texas style circuit and uh, while this version it wouldn't necessarily be referred to as a Texas style purist version, um, this is kind of the version that I worked up for contests for myself and I've, I've got a number of licks that I just, or variations that I came up with um, that I'll show you for this, for this tune. I really like this tune. It's, uh, it's happy, it's peppy, it's got some nice uh, descending arpeggios in the first part. Uh, in terms of the format, it's an A-A-B-B -B tune, but the B section, there's a B1 and a B2. So you, the first eight bars um, are different than the last eight bars of that B section. Whereas the first part, you play eight bars and then those repeat uh, to get your 16 bars. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with a basic tutorial, a basic lesson on this. Uh, this tune would probably be a beginner to intermediate level uh, until you start putting in all those variations. Uh, so there are a couple of pickup notes. Uh, first off, your key of uh, D scale. So uh, hopefully get familiar with those notes, have them in your head because we're gonna play around that. Uh, and this the chords are kind of like uh, Blackberry Blossom in that they switch every half measure on the first part. So we're going to play a bunch of descending arpeggio phrases uh, that work over those chords. So I'll talk about those chords as we play these phrases. Two pickup notes, third finger on your, a, on your E string is an A note, and a low second is a G natural. Those are your pickup notes. And then the first note proper is F sharp. That's the beginning of the first arpeggio descent. Okay, one, three on the D on the A string, which is a D note, and then open A. Now we have a little pickup before we go to the next arpeggio over an A chord. So that F sharp is the pickup note for the next arpeggio. Okay, E two open A. So both of those descending arpeggios end on an A. Okay. Now here, <clears throat> I think probably let's get away from the arpeggio and let's go. Okay, two, three, one, three, one. And that uh, second third is going to be on your D string. High second, C sharp, is the pickup note. 
Okay, I'm going to keep going, then we'll go back. Now the last one. Open A, 2, high second, F sharp note on the uh, D string, and open D. All right, from the beginning up to that point. Two, three. Okay, so here, <clears throat> we're kind of like partway through this. This is the question. The first answer is... Okay, now we have our pickup note is an F sharp again. So first finger is an E note on your D string, and you're going to go over and catch a high third C sharp note. And back over. But when you come up, that's a G natural, so it's a low third, not a high third on the D string. Okay, continuing on, 2, 1, open. Back up to the 2 F sharp. Now, <clears throat> we're going to have an uh, ascending uh, arpeggio. Okay, 1, high 3, okay, up to a first finger B note on the A. Back to the high 3. Okay, final arpeggio. Okay, that's a full A arpeggio. Um, so let's play those notes. I'll play them slowly for you. That's halfway through the A part. Pretty much it repeats, except there's a different answer to the question next time, just slightly. One, two, three. All right, so let's take a look at some advanced uh, techniques, some advanced licks, some double stops, definitely a lot of triplet runs, um, some inverted arpeggios, and, and playing around with the melody just a little bit, some variations on this great tune called Uncle Herman's Hornpipe, uh, which is actually uh, known by several other titles. That's not the original title. Um, you might know this as Herman's Hornpipe. Um, anyhow, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'll play through the A part, and... Uh, I would caution you that I wouldn't necessarily play all of these things back to back, um, but it will give me an opportunity to kind of show you where I might place these licks. Okay, so first off, there's a little triplet. Open one, two, three. Right there, I'm leaving my A string open and droning on that. Sliding my first finger down that lick that we talked about, um, going from an E note to an E flat and back up. But I'm double stopping that. Now continue the double stop on. And then you're out of it there. 